This has a bunch of situations and scenarios inside of it that could be possible problems that you might have to deal with. Once a month, we do a family social emotional lesson. Every time you have a problem, you have to think to yourself, how big of a problem is this and how am I going to choose to respond? Families didn't learn this when they were in school. If I start throwing things and screaming because someone took my pencil, that is an unexpected behavior based on the size of that problem. As educators at Lister, we feel that it's really important that these types of strategies are taught explicitly just like we would teach math and so it's really cool for families to be able to come in and see the things that their kids are learning so that they can manage themselves in their relationships. It's not a big deal because it's just a pencil. Today we did something that we call the size of the problem where students are navigating situations and they're identifying whether that's a large problem or a small problem in order to identify how their reaction should match the size of that problem. Like it's not like an earthquake or something. We talked about the different sizes of problems going from one being the smallest up to five being something that's major that affects lots of people and takes a long time to solve. The students were given pieces of paper with different types of problems on them and then they had to fit them into each category of where they would say that size of the problem would fit. Someone is reading your library book without your permission. What if you react in a bad way when someone like reads your library book without you knowing? That could be like a problem too. So you should learn how to react in a good way. So I'm gonna read out some of the papers that you have. Show me on your fingers from one to five where you put this on your scale. And then we also debriefed about how you would react to that type of problem and why you would react to that type of problem in a certain way. Okay, before school you are playing outside and lose your homework. I think it's a three because when um, you lose your homework, it can affect your grades. Your grandpa is sick and is in the hospital. Kavaya. It might be a five because he might be the only family you have. Yeah, so like we talked about, these types of things are what we call subjective. This is something that we continually talk about and teach throughout the year so that students in the moment will think, I can take a second, then I can react appropriately. Math and reading and all the subjects is important, but it's important also how you manage yourself, how to react in any situation, because that is going to build the personality of them. It's super powerful for parents to be able to see. You can teach kids to practice managing their emotions. Thank you.